guys so today I'm going to give uh, one of the uh, uh, tips that I think I can say uh, it will help some other people who's not able to uh, uh, buy a, a memory card reader right now so it's been several months since I was not able to uh, buy a memory card reader uh, because uh, it's very expensive and then uh, there are a few uh, available on the market right now so this uh, memory uh, card reader that's uh, that I'm talking about is the CF Express uh, card reader so um, uh, today I'm uh, going to give you uh, some of my tips that uh, I think it will help you transferring your uh, images from the DSLR camera or your mirror mirrorless camera to the computer so I've been doing this many times already and I saw it that uh, uh, I realized that um, I think uh, the same thing with the ones that has a memory card of course if we talk about the process first thing is of course you're gonna get your cable and you're gonna get your uh, memory card reader uh, get the memory card reader from the uh, memory card from the computer uh, from the camera input it to, to your uh, memory card reader and then you you have your USB uh, cable connect the, that one to the memory card reader so those process I think uh, based on my experience is uh, I think it in some way it gives me a lot of um, uh, more the more tasks than I uh, I'm doing it right now with uh, with my uh, USB cable and connect them directly to my camera so uh, what I'm doing right now because I don't have the memory uh, card reader uh, yet uh, for the uh, CF Express memory card so what I'm doing is directly connecting my USB cable to the camera so that way I don't need to remove my uh, memory card just just connect the USB cable and connect that cable to the computer and that's it so right now let's uh, uh, head over to that uh, software but we will need a, a software from Nikon so uh, first thing is uh, of course you should have this uh, software before you can do that uh, uh, procedure so okay so let me open this software they called it Nikon transfer 2 so to okay you can see that when I open it uh, there's a uh, prompt that will come out it will show uh, it will say uh, to display the thumbnail pass okay then we need to turn on the camera okay so then let me turn on the camera okay so I just turn on my camera right and then once I turn on the camera I, I'm my, my USB cable is already con already connected to the computer so that's why you can see this there's a Z6 camera right now that is connected to the computer so if you uh, click that one then all those uh, photos that you have in your uh, camera will be shown on this uh, window so I think that's it that's uh, all you have to do is just connect the cable uh, pre uh, press the, the software and then after that once you get your uh, once you saw your camera here just 
uh, head over to this start transfer and it will start to transfer i think uh speed wise is is almost i think the same as the ones that you have if you have the uh memory card reader i think i never get into that right now because i don't have the memory card reader for the cf express memory card so that's why i'm i'm doing this um, many times right now and i, I saw it it's m much uh easier and hassle free to uh, make a transfer from my co uh, camera to the computer because all I had to do is connect the cable, USB cable to my camera and that's it. So uh, let's start the transfer. All I had to do is to um, uh, click the start trans start transfer and you will see it will transfer very fast so you can see the progress here they have a progress here you will see we will find that progress there below so you can see how fast is this okay so um okay so remember the software is nikon transfer 2 and to get this uh, software i think uh after you purchase your cameras either dslr or uh, uh either dslr or the um, mirrorless camera i think uh, it comes with some uh, sort of uh, CD or software, uh, so you can you are still able to know and and get that uh, software and uh, install them. Or if you don't know, uh, you don't know uh, the software yet and you don't have it there, just head over to the website of Nikon. Uh, Nikon download center and you will find that software there I have them in the link below so you can just uh, check down one so okay what happened is uh, after my transfer I have the setting here which is after the transfer automatically the software will uh, uh, the, the software will automatically disconnect from my computer and then uh, uh, it, um, it will cl automatically close the software so that's the setting that I did here so that's why you, you see that uh, automatically it uh, uh, closed the software and then open the photo by this software so whichever the uh, whichever the software that you uh, choose to uh, set on this uh, uh, on this uh, uh, setting then it will open that uh, uh, software after the transfer is complete so there are other uh, software that uh, is available like uh, view nxi and then the captured nxd okay so there are a few more sitting here you can choose wherever uh, whatever you want uh, depending on your liking you can just uh, tick them here or uh, any any anything you can you can choose you can also you are also able to back up uh, uh, the transfer so it will back up to a different drive or hard disk or some some uh, uh, any other flash drive and then um, it will also show you here the destination of uh, uh, the file wherever you want them to be uh, uh, transferred or uh, save so you can see that this is my uh, setting it will transfer automatically to my uh, uh, external hard drive and there are also some setting here that you can do uh, making uh, some other extension name na a file name and so on so you can also try that uh, one thing that's really uh, I think uh, helpful in this is that uh, if you already transfer some other file which is already uh, like for example uh, 
uh, by mistake you uh, you forgot to uh, uh, you forgot some other photos that you have been yeah, that it's already been uh, transferred before and then you wanted to uh, duplicate them and transfer them again uh, that way it will not allow you to transfer if this uh, this sitting here is uh, have uh, been uh, selected so okay so those are the sitting uh, I think this software is, is very powerful because uh, of course this is this software comes from the manufacturer itself so it, it's uh, by Nikon but to have this uh, software all you need to do because if you head over to the if you uh, uh, go to the website actually uh, you will not find the Nikon transfer to and the website there's no such name there and there is no such uh, software so actually the Nikon transfer to comes uh, along with the uh, software that is called view in XI and then capture in XD so this software this is only one software if you install them it will in uh, automatically install this uh, these two things these two software so uh, inside this view in XI software up to, uh, once you install them it also comes with uh, it also comes with this you can see here it also comes with this other software it's included in that package including the Nikon transfer 2 so you can see that one included with view NXI and also uh, it comes with Nikon message center to picture control utility 2 and also of course it comes with the capture NXD so view NXI this view NXI software is for mirrorless camera so that's why you can see this uh i'm not sure where we can find that uh, uh okay so you can see here supported digital, digital camera it says the z7 z6 and z50 and uh nikon dslr cameras so this is good for i think good for the nxi is good for the uh, I think uh, mirrorless because there's another software that comes with uh, uh, that in the other uh, in the website which is the view nx2 view nx2 is also uh, uh, another uh, another software that also comes with the same uh, the same software uh, I mean it also comes with uh, where is that? so it comes with the other like a uh, NX NX capture NX2 NX capture NX and some other uh, software so but when I saw this one it says uh, it's only for the uh, digital SLR camera but this one also comes with uh, that uh, Nikon transfer so if you are using a uh, mirrorless camera I think uh, you can use this uh, view in XI and the Nikon transfer 2 comes with that so you can see here so uh, I think that's it I think that's all uh, you can see uh, the transfer process was very fast uh, and uh, it's really very helpful for me uh, I've been doing this uh, several months already and I don't see any errors or I don't see any uh, hassle uh, the way it uh, did the process 
it's I think I believe it's it's much convenient for me because I only need uh, the I only need the USB cable. The USB I think uh, all of you also maybe uh, you have that uh, USB cable that comes uh, together with your camera so you can use that one. Uh, so I think that's all. Uh, thank you and hope this uh, uh, simple tips also helps you in transferring your images to your computer. Mm -hmm.